Hello and welcome to this Access Advisor video in which we'll take a brief look at the accessibility around the Arona Grand Hotel in Los Cristianos, Tenerife. We're going to start from our bedroom and this was on the lower floor, floor zero. Um, our room was easily accessible via this uh, corridor and when you got to the end of the corridor there were some steps but you can take the ramp well, three short ramps to be exact, but very shallow and you've got handrails down the side as well in case you need them, just in case. And turn sharp left here and there you go, on to the next one, down that and there's the bottom of the second ramp, another sharp right this time and straight down into the main hall on the ground floor. And here you've got a bar area which is open in the evening. There you can see you can get served at the bar. Very smooth floor, very beautiful hotel. Really enjoy staying here. Um, there's a seating area and they have a piano player um, early on in the evenings. And you can see it's got some nice foliage around there. Um, and then you've got some steps, but you don't need them because there are lifts up to the, up to the uh, other floors. And over this water feature, which is a bit um, unnerving at some times, at times I've seen other people uh, not quite sure whether to go over it, out into the main pool area through some automatic doors. And there are steps, but to the left again, you've got a nice gentle slope. And everything around here is so smooth. And I really recommend this hotel uh, to people who, you know, have got mobility issues. It's very flat, it's very good. And we're just going around one of the sunbed areas now, trying not to run over any of the uh, any of the other hotel residents. Again, up to the main area, which overlooks the seafront. And again, you've got another gentle slope. Nothing too steep in this hotel. And there's the main building where you can get some drinks and, and food during lunchtime. There's no lower bar on there, but staff will help you when you go in and ask for some food. And here we are, just have a quick look in there, a couple of tables nicely set out, plenty of room between them, some tables at the front if you want to sit and have breakfast overlooking the sea, around uh, there. Now we're going towards the third of three pools, and this is the one that was of most use to me, it's a hydrotherapy pool. Plenty of space between the sunbeds, so we can uh, actually get there. And here's the hydrotherapy pool. And as you can see, it's got a little hoist that uh, you can use to get in and out. The lifeguard by the pool who looks after the towels and keeps an eye on everyone is really helpful and he's helped me in and out every day that we were there. So then it's back from the sunbeds and back towards another outbuilding. And that's another restaurant outside where you can see, well, there was cleaning going on there at that time. But you can get meals outside as well. And, and apart from going outside the hotel, in the front entrance there's also a lift by the pools where you can go down to the lower ground where there's a gym and you can get out via a security gate on the lower ground floor and all the way along the prom it's really flat as I've shown in other videos I did mention that the hotel has an entertainment hall and here I am just as an interlude strutting my stuff on the floor during one of the evenings and if you like food as much as I do, you'll be interested to see some of the food that was on offer at the hotel. It really is a good hotel, I really recommend it, and I hope you can get the chance to check it out. So until the next time, bye for now.